In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying fractions using cancellation. Now, let's multiply 3 over 5 by 5 over 7. Notice that we have a 5 on top of the second fraction and a 5 on the bottom of the first fraction. When you have the same number on opposite sides of either the same or different fractions, when you're multiplying, you could cancel those identical numbers. So what we have left over is 3 over 7. So that's the answer for the first example. For the next example, notice that we could cancel a 3. And so what we'll be left with is 1 over 8. By the way, another way in which you could see this, if you were to multiply across 3 times 5, you could write it as 3 times 5. And here, 5 times 7, you could just leave it as 5 times 7. If you cancel the 5, you'll still be left with 3 over 7. So there's many ways in which you can do this. Go ahead and try this example. What's 3 over 8 times 4 over 5? Now, for this one, I'm going to do a little bit more work. The 8, I'm going to break it down into 4 times 2. By doing this, notice that we could cancel the 4. And so what we have left on a numerator is a 3 on top. On the bottom, we have a 2 and 5. They're multiplied, so... 2 times 5 will give us 10. And this is going to be the answer, 3 over 10. Try this problem. Let's say we have 5 over 8 times 4 over 7. Feel free to pause the video to try this problem. So the 8, I'm going to break it into 4 and 2. And just like before, we could cancel the 4. I have a 5 on top, and on the bottom, 2 times 7, which is 14. So I'm going to get 5 over 14. Let's work on one more example problem. So 9 over 16, let's multiply that by 8 over 15. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this. So when multiplying fractions by cancellation, I recommend breaking down the larger numbers into smaller numbers. So 9 is 3 times 3. 16 is, we can write that as 4 times 4. 8 is 4 times 2. 15 is 5 times 3. Now, this 4 right here, I'm going to break it down into 2 times 2. So by doing so, notice that I can cancel a 4. I could cancel a 2, and I can cancel a 3. Now let's focus on what we have left over. We have a 3 left over, and on the bottom we have 2 and 5. So we get a common answer, 3 over 10. So that's how you can multiply fractions using cancellation. 